August 18th, 2024. How's it going, guys? Well, I got another video for you. What are we going to talk about? Kansas City, Independence, Missouri. We're going to talk about crime. We're going to talk about drugs. We're going to talk about the homeless. We're going to talk about prostitution here. But we're also going to talk about we've had massive runs by fire trucks and AMR vehicles this weekend. On top of we've had fires, electrical fires on poles for some reason. Yeah, we're going to talk about that for a couple minutes too because uh, some of these transformers are very old through here in Independence on this Independence South Side and through Kansas City, Missouri. I wonder how many of them is being checked. In the last... Oh, I don't know. Month and a half. I've lost a couple, three electronic devices. I'm not going to go into detail what those devices were. Some were fairly new. But they ran off transformers. And uh, I did a check on everything here. And, and I didn't see anything out of the norm. Now, you can get sine waves that are it's kind of out of phase and in phase. I'm getting to wonder. Because uh, just, what was that, Saturday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Saturday, me and my son, we were up in Raytown, eating at a restaurant, but got down here, bottom of 47th Street. And there was a pole down there, by, like where you go down by 47th Street and by the stadium off Blue Ridge, and it was on fire. Man, the fire trucks were putting this stuff out to try to get it out. They got it out. I'm going to show that a little bit here. So it makes me wonder if there's a lot more things going on. Now, this falls into that, you know, the flash deal. Now, is it something, is it because of the waves of energy that's coming in from the sun, the CMEs and stuff that we are getting, causing more problems with electronic devices? Or is it that they're just not maintaining the electrical currents or overloading the systems to push the power to the limit makes you wonder what's going on but uh like i say i lost three devices here and just recently and that kind of bugged me a little bit on some of this stuff so i don't know i uh it just it just kind of makes you wonder but how would you tell you'd have to have an oscilloscope and something i mean you could have a, a small cheaper oscilloscope, but some of those ones that they use are over five, six thousand dollars to see if any of those are out of phase. So, uh, you know, that's something that not everybody's going to have in their back pocket to be carrying around to check this stuff. So, it just makes me wonder. And uh, Comcast, too, has had some, a lot of problems out here. Now, they were working over here, supposedly, in this area, but uh, there's been a lot of things going on. And it just makes me wonder, is it just neglect? They don't have enough people handling it? Or is it, I mean, how would anybody know? But I will be showing that, guys. So let's get on with this. I'm going to be talking about the crime, the drugs, and it just keeps going on hand in hand. Now, some of it has kind of been knocked down. Early this morning, when me and my son went for breakfast this morning, there was some police up here up by Strike and Spare walking Kind of back behind there, something must have happened up there. Because you usually don't see them walking up between that area. And they were on foot this morning too, Independence was. So, just another thing there, guys. But let me go back to uh, on Wednesday morning after midnight at 12.39 a.m. at Burger King. And uh, they're still moving some of that drugs and stuff. Some of that stuff's still going on. And... Uh, when I went out and drove through, drove through the parking lot there at that uh, convenience store, there was a guy that was coming off that one, one rides a bicycle, one has a vehicle there. They camp out like they just, you know, just like, you know, you got like a squatter right there in the parking lot area. Now, I did a verification here, too. I wanted to check something. Let's see if it's still on my phone. I don't know if I can find it. I'm not here. Let's see here. Okay, it says on Wednesday or Tuesday night, they close at midnight. Now, this was 12.39 a.m. in the morning at the very outer edge in the parking lot. Now, you know, 
And then the guy, one of the guys, was walking across the street to the convenience store. Now, what you got to understand, that convenience store is closed. The only thing that's all in between there and the convenience store is that motel. Yeah. So what would they be going over to the motel for? I don't know. Well, they sure weren't, you know, if they're sleeping in, if they're sleeping in the parking lot at Burger King, they sure don't need me at the motel over there, now do they? But you know, that's where all those drugs get passed back and forth. And the prostitutes work. I, uh, this morning <laughs> and last night, oh God, 23rd Street, I hate to say it. Yeah, that station is closed down. There's a public hearing. And what the public hearing's about on that station, I don't know, but it's closed down, which is probably a good thing because there ain't no drugs and stuff being passed over there. So, yeah, it's one way to get, I guess, some of it done. I did see a homeless guy that was up there where the guy got killed up there at Sonic. Uh, he was eating, actually, on a table at Sonic where he'd crossed underneath the yellow strips and stuff, and he was eating inside there. I was thinking, oh boy, would that be something? Could you imagine if you got over there and something else collapsed on top of that guy? Can you imagine what the lawsuit would be? Uh, not good. Not good at all. But anyway, so getting back to this at, at night time. Went through there. Guy crossed over into the parking lot. I'm going to show that. And then I started to go across because I wanted... To just see what was going on over there. I went into the Burger King, King parking lot. Drove through. Well, when I did, there was another guy that was running stuff in a blue car. And he tried to block me from getting into the Burger King parking lot. Now, I didn't see any Independence police cars out and about. But it just made me wonder. Well, you know, they could try, you know, they're the ones. These, these people are the ones that need to be off the street. And they need to be in jail because they're dealing the drugs, they're pushing the stuff. They need to get get them gone. So I'm going to show that, and I'm going to show this vehicle. I'm going to show this bicycle that was sitting over there, and then we'll go from there. And I'll see if I can find the the pole that was on fire up in Wright Town up there by the stadium too. A lot of stuff. We come back through 23rd Street also last night. Like I say, there there was a. A couple of uh, prostitutes still there, but they cleaned up. They they didn't have all shiny stuff on. One was uh, in the, like one of them also was working one of the corners. So uh, I don't know, but we'll show some of this stuff. I want to get into this about midweek here, and the drugs are still moving. And I just posted the deal on a biker coming up. Well, see, they why they come up in here red? Because they want to push those drugs here in Kansas City. They want to push the cocaine. They want to push the fentanyl. They want to push all that. And that's why they come by red by my house. Because they don't, they, they don't like that. They, well, well, I guess it, well. But they're not the ones on the bicycles, are they? They're the ones on the twenty five, fifty, or $100,000 Harley. Oh yeah, there's hundred thousand. There's more than a hundred thousand dollar car. I, I seen some out there when I was went down to Doc Holidays that were two hundred and fifty thousand dollar custom Harleys. A lot of money. I mean, unless you're a doctor or a lawyer, or just very lucky, winning a million dollars, you know. Hmm. Anyway, so let's show this real quick. All right, guys, now I'm going to show this here. And uh, this was, like I say, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. You see that guy right here? See this guy right here? He was with the bicycle in this vehicle over here at Burger King. Now, he did just crossed over. Interesting. Let me see if I can get this a uh, little bit lighter. Enhance this a little bit for you guys. And then I'm going to slow it down. Speed here. Now we'll see if we can do this.
Now it's 12.39 at night, guys. What's this guy going over here to this convenience store? It's not open. It's closed. But there's the motel over here. And where they pass the drugs and the other stuff. So I wanted to show that real quick. And as I go on back around here, I drove on around. Yeah, black hoodie. A lot of crazy stuff. And you can see no one roads pretty dead here. So, but guess what? There's another car that's running. Which I found kind of strange. Now, I'm going to stop this for a second because there was a vehicle, one or two, I think, over here. But it could have been still the night crew cleaning up at the Burger King. But this wasn't the night crew. This was not the night crew here. So, we're going to go on across here. And I got this in real slow motion. And I'm just pulling across. And here comes this blue car zooming up and he tries to block me. Well, isn't that something? Well, why would that be? Maybe Independence Police need to take a look at this just a little bit more. But I'm going to make a loop back here. And I'm going to show this van. See this, or this minivan here? See there's trash and they had piles of stuff hanging out of this minivan or whatever. And there's another guy over here inside of it. So, hold on. We're going to make a loop back around here. Hold on, guys. Like I say, it's 12.39 at night. Right there's a bicycle. Now, there was a bicycle going up and down the street. Up and down the street. Okay? Over here on East 47th Street South. That's how they deal those drugs. And if, you know, you're getting from 1030 on like that, you got grown men on bicycles that a 12 or 14 year old, come on guys, you know, what's going on here? So it just makes me wonder, 1239, this guy's on the bicycle. He walks across the street, walking across the convenience store over here. Well, here's that blue car, but it's going to go on and take off back off because it had found out that, uh, you know, I don't know what it thought, but like I say, Interesting though. Something else maybe independence needs to be looking for. Oh, did it have a, I couldn't tell. Is that a temp tag? Uh, I don't know if it had a temp tag or not, guys. Too much glare there. But they sure well, see, this is where you can come get your drugs here on Nolan Road. This thing is a hot boy. They need to be patrolling this more. So hold on. Okay, guys, it's about as good as I can do. But now this is down here by those, uh, like I said, in the 47th Street. This is down here in Blue Ridge. And I'm going to put my cursor right there. You see that pumper truck? They were spraying stuff all over this pole. And, man, it was on fire, on fire up here. Now, I don't know if this is Raytown considered or Kansas City, Missouri. But it was flaming. And it was electrical. I mean, when we, I actually, after we went to the, the restaurant up in Raytown, we come back, we rode down there, drove down there. The, there was a homeless guy that was sitting there. <laughs> he was still looking at the pole. Actually, it's the guy that used to usually hangs at a 63rd Street. He's supposed to be a vet, but now he's hanging down here. But uh, I wanted to show that real quick. Now, hold on. Okay, guys, that's about as good as I can do. It was very sunny, and this was the pole. But at the very top, that's what the, that's what they were putting the flame. I guess I don't know. I don't know if they if there was a transformer up there and it come down. Didn't see nothing on the ground, but that pole was on fire. 
And it was smoking, guys. And like I say, you can see that smoke down there. I mean, all the Blue Ridge down there, down there by the stadium down there. That, off, off the end here, East 47th Street, there was smoke everywhere, guys. Everywhere. And I'll put that one down there one more time. Crazy stuff going on. So hold on. Okay, guys. And I want to show this here real quick, too, see if I get this to focus in real quick. If it will in that black, but I'm going to go ahead and play this. And this is what I, this is basically showing that bicycle going back and forth on East 47th Street South. Now, this is after I got back at 1239 from Burger King. See that person walking down or riding that bike down through there? Look at that. You see that? So that'd be probably, it's getting close to 12.50, 1 a.m. in the morning. And that's how they run those drugs on East 47th Street here. Back and forth. Back and forth. Ah, hold on, guys. All right, guys. I wanted to show that real quick so you can see that. But the drug's still flowing. And stuff's still going on over here on the south side in Independence here in Kansas City. So hold on. All right, guys. Still nothing new. Same old thing. Drug's still moving. And I got other, like I say, I got other stuff here on the prostitutes I'll be showing here shortly. Try to get that out. It's on the other SD cards here. I get them all, <laughs> go through all of them and everything. But I, I'm going to do a video tonight about Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're going to talk about, me and my son, we're going to be talking about foods and stuff out there. Places to eat at and what we thought was good and what was not so good. So, uh, keep your eyes open here in Kansas City and uh, stay safe out there.